আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমি সুমাইয়া খাজি সুমাজি ডাকপামের প্রতিষ্ঠাতা এবং সিইও একজন বাংলাদেশি আমেরিকান উত্তর ক্যালিফোর্নিয়ার স্যান ফ্রান্সিসকো শহরে আমি থাকি কিছুদিন আগে ব্রিটিশ বাংলাদেশি পাওয়ার অ্যান্ড ইন্সপিরেশন আমাকে বিশ্বের সেরা দর্জন নাম করা বাংলাদেশের মতে একজন নির্বাচিত করেছে নিজেকে বিশ্বাস করতে পারেনি এই অনেক অনেক সম্মানের জন্য নিজেকে ধন মনে করছি প্রিমিন ব্যাংক প্রতিষ্ঠাতা ডক্টর মোহাম্মদ ইউস ইউটিউব প্রতিষ্ঠাতা জাভেদ ফরুদ এভারেস্ট ক্লাইমার নিজাম জুন্দে এবং আরও কয়েকজন সম্মানিত লোকদের সাথে আমার নাম রয়েছে এটা আমার জন্য অনেক বড় কারণ এবং সম্মানের আমি ধন্যবাদ জানাতে চাই বিবিপি কমিটি আর ব্রিটিশ কমনওয়া তাদেরকে যারা আমাকে সম্মানিত করেছেন about Cleopatra and we hear about her but we talk about her in terms of beauty we never talk about her in terms of business and intelligence you know we actually have Cleopatra to thank for building the world's first spa so she was born in 69 BC and at the age of 30 she traveled from Egypt to the Dead Sea because she heard about the magical properties of the water and uh, she actually created the world's first spa as well as creating products beauty products that she then took back to Egypt and the surrounding areas Now, while we don't know too much about Cleopatra in business, what we can learn from Cleopatra is that, you know what? You can travel far distances to get what you need in order to achieve. Why don't we hear stories about Eliza Lucas? Eliza Lucas was born in 1722. And what's remarkable about, uh, remarkable about her is that at the age of 16, she actually inherited three plantations when her father uh, had to travel to Antigua for the military. Now at 16, she not only ran these plantations, but she also um, took care of her family. Now she was determined to make sure that a crop of indigo could be built in South Carolina. And so after three years of unsuccessful frustrated not seeing young people in the news. I prided myself, uh, myself on surrounding myself with just amazing people doing really impressive things. But you don't read about them in the news. You don't see them in the news. I was frustrated not knowing or learning about nonprofits in the news unless there was a financial or natural disaster. And then my third frustration was with the cultural community I grew up with that told me that in order to be successful, I needed to be a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer. Uh, or what we call the Holy Trinity of Success. Um, and for me, that just wasn't acceptable. And so instead of complaining about it and, and just kind of venting, I decided to do something about it. So um, I started a company at the age of 22. I was working full time at Sun Microsystems. And to me at that time, it wasn't me starting a company. It was just me starting a pet project. However, when I started both companies, I never really went into it thinking about being a female entrepreneur or being a woman entrepreneur. 
Um, I knew that I was frustrated with problems in the world and I thought that I, um, if I wasn't the one working on those particular problems, then who would be? And that's really how I got started. It's that simple. But more recently I started thinking about, well, who are the people, who are the women that actually allowed us to, to do what we're able to do today, to allow us to start, build, and grow our businesses? Um, sure, we hear about um, wonderful, extraordinary women. Um, women like Oprah and women like Martha Stewart have really you know, done amazing things in their lifetimes. But it made me think, who are the original, the first women? 